welcome to Coco. So happy to kick off a brand new week with you and with these lovely people I have in studio this morning. Yes, we've got Jesse O. Guys, you know him. He's our community director Hola. here at Nine News. He's no stranger to Coco. The fabulous Yolanda Ortega is here, her former and activist and actress Meredith Young. It's good to have all of you here this morning. It's good to be here. Yay. It's good to have you. Well, it is Hispanic Heritage Month, and we could not think of better people to represent everything that this stands oh. for. Uh, All right. Really. That's oh, right. Really. And it smells <laughs> delicious in the kitchen. Okay, I'll start off with you, Jesse, as a Community Affairs Director. Sure. What does Hispanic Heritage Month represent? Well, you know, I always tell this to folks. When we celebrate Heritage Month, Hispanic Heritage Month, not to forget, it's about the many colors of our culture, because we are, we're, I always say this, we're like this beautiful quilt, mm -hmm. right? Because we've got people from all walks of life, from Southern America, from South America, whether it's Colombia, Argentina, Mexico, Cubanos, or Puerto Ricanos. We're yes. such a, a, a melting pot. So I thought what we would do to celebrate today, because each culture has their own form of chile. That's right. right. They yes. do. <laughs> and here in the Southwest, we're big on green chili, right? So oh, yeah. you're driving down Federal or other areas, and you can <laughs> smell the roasting green chili. It's yes. like, oh, it's that time of year. What's fun about green chili is that during the Indian summer season, when it's still hot, uh, you can do a cold dish. So what we're going to do is a dish my mom used to call Chile Caribe. For okay. whatever reason, that's what she called it. We've got some onions and cilantro. We've, these are fresh farm-grown tomatoes. Wow. Yes. And then some roasted green chile from green yesterday. Chile from yesterday. And now oh, you and yeah. I are going to start chopping. We've got some good ingredients. Woo. Okay, well, as we chop away, I want to talk to Yolanda. I had the pleasure of meeting you last year. You yeah. were honored. I was like, I have to meet this woman <laughs> at the Latinas First Luncheon. Wow. Um, and, and this was a fantastic time for you for your many accomplishments. You're also a performer, which yes. I love. Yes. And you're very close to Su Teatro. Tell me about yes. what's been happening, Yolanda. Well, Su Teatro, it's so exciting. We are celebrating our 50th anniversary. Mm -hmm. And we are basically one of the three Teatros that started 50 years ago that are still surviving, they're still performing, they're still making a, a mark in community. And Su Teatro, uh, we began, our beginnings were as a, as a class mm -hmm. at the University of Colorado. And now we have our own building. We've got uh, so many programs that we can be proud of. Um, and <laughs> you're looking at some photos of, of, the, <laughs> of well, the history plus uh, the, the type of productions that we um, we stage, but mm -hmm. Su Teatro has been part of the community, and I'm saying uh, a very integral part of our community for 50 years. Uh, we are now, um, we call ourselves the, the Su Teatro uh, Cultural and Performing Arts Center for a reason, and mm -hmm. that is because we bring the community in to participate. I love that. We host uh, the Chicken Indy Film Festival besides uh, stage productions. We have um, music festival, uh, film festival. We bring in um, uh, Latino, uh, Chicano artists from all over the country. I just love that. Uh, you guys are very present in the yes, community. I'm yes. such a fan. Now, you have a production coming to the stage very soon. It's called Promise on the Hill. It is. Meredith, you are a big part of this production, and you're also Jewish, which which is very relevant because this <laughs> special production speaks so much to that. Tell me about it. Um, it's an honor, truly, to be part of this production, especially with Su Teatro. Um, I think, um, first of all, this um, this production, Promise on the Hill, um, not only tells the story of Max and his ancestors, it's telling the story of a lot of our ancestors um, coming from Poland, coming from Russia. It's telling the story of my grandfather, whose brother was killed in the pogroms, and um, who had to make their way to Canada and settle there. Wow. Um, it's it's such um, an incredible story, and it also, um, there's so many crossovers um, with um, the Jewish community and uh, with Hispanic heritage um, between the culture, between the persecution, um, with food and everything like that. Um, and having to live in an insular community really to protect um, ourselves. Um, sure. So I think that um, a lot of that is coming out of this production and it's such a special piece. Um, 
that we would really love everyone to come down and see it. It sounds wonderful. I love the collaboration mm -hmm. of cultures here. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is something that everybody should watch and just be a part of. When does this production take the stage, Yolanda? How can people come watch it? We are, our production opens on Thursday, the 22nd, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the 22nd, the 23rd, and the 24th at 7.30 at okay. Su Teatro, and they can go online and uh, get to uh, uh, make reservations to theatro.org. I'm telling you, it is an amazing collaboration. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're looking at two cultures coming together, but the story is very much, uh, again, as, as Claudia, I mean, uh, Meredith said, um, the story of Max Apple, but mm -hmm. also his ancestors, mm -hmm. the ancestors of so many Jewish um, um, peoples that came here on the west side of Denver. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's a west lot of Colfax. history there. Yes. Yeah. yes, definitely one that we all need to see. Yes. Okay, it's starting to smell really good. I know, <laughs> I know. Yes, I know. It's like you've you've been the adding, chips out. You've been adding a bunch of stuff. I'm still cutting my chilas up here, but what's happening with this mix here? It smells so, so good. So, so what I've added, so, you know, everybody can do their own rendition and everybody can, some people don't like cumino, cumin, some people don't mm -hmm. like oregano, but I like it all. And yeah. that's how my mom made it, right? So I cheated and, and I have my little cumino and my garlic. Oh, mixed it's a in. blend. It's already <laughs> yes. blended. I've got my oregano and I've got some salt. And then I just squeeze, and you can use lime or lemon. There's, mm -hmm. you know, some people prefer lime, but you put a little lemon, and the whole purpose of lemon and lime, not only for the flavor, but it acts like vinegar to preserve. Okay. And so you just mix that bad boy up. It's simple, it's a nice, cool dish to have on a hot Indian summer day and really with some chips I think makes we've all got the, the chips. difference, I'm telling you. By all you. means, everyone, dig in. And those are a classic spices At, and, and smells mild. of that Hispanic culture. It's amazing. All right, and I cut this up for you so we could do something with that a little bit later on. Mm. Guys, thank you so much for thank coming in this so morning. Much. You already made my morning. Yolanda, oh, oh, it's always so good to you, see Claudia. you. Oh, my God, me too, Jesse. <laughs> always a pleasure. Okay, everyone. And, of course, congrats to Su Teatro on 50 years. They're celebrating the 50th anniversary. You can get those season tickets. They are available right now at the best price for show lineups and anything else you need to know. Just go online. It's suteatro.org for more.